Is your WordPress website missing front-end functionality? Is your WordPress theme not working the way you would like it to? To enhance your WordPress site's front-end functionality, you'll need to add JavaScript to your site. You can choose from a couple of different techniques to add custom JavaScript to WordPress, from using plugins to attaching custom scripts to different action hooks. My name is Daniel from Envato Tuts, and in this tutorial, I'll show you two different ways to add this custom JavaScript to your website to improve your website's functionality and provide a better website experience for your audience. If you are looking to take your WordPress website to the next level, then Code Canyon and ThemeForce are perfect for you. Code Canyon has an extensive library of the best WordPress plugins ever created, including plugins for e-commerce, calendars, advertising, newsletters, and much more. ThemeForest is the largest theme marketplace in the world. It features the best WordPress themes and website templates starting at just $2. You will find everything from marketing templates, blogging templates, e-commerce templates, CMS templates, and much more. Don't miss out on this opportunity to make your website the best it can possibly be. While you can use WordPress's built-in customizer to add custom CSS to your theme, you can't do the same with JavaScript. To add custom JavaScript to your WordPress site, you need to either use a plugin or edit your child theme's functions.php file. We will have a look at both options in detail. Before we go over how to add JavaScript to your website, I want to mention something very important. You should never add custom script to your WordPress site by dropping a script tag directly into either your header.php or footer.php template file. WordPress has a specific loading sequence that should be respected under any circumstances. If you insert your custom JavaScript directly into your header or footer template, it might cause conflicts with your theme, plugins running on your site, or the WordPress core. Instead, you should use one of the techniques detailed in this article. So never add a line like the following line to your header.php or photo.php file, even if you could technically do it. So now let's go over how you can use a plugin to add custom JavaScript to your WordPress site. Using a plugin is the recommended method when you don't want to directly edit the source files or want to add theme independent JavaScript that you can keep even when you decide to switch to a new theme. You can use different kinds of plugins to add custom JavaScript to your WordPress site. The first option is to use a plugin that lets you edit the header and footer template files of your WordPress theme. If you want to add scripts that load before the page content, such as analytics and tracking scripts, you need to edit the header template, while scripts that load after the content go into the footer template. Typically, when your script modifies an element displayed on your page, such as an image, it should be placed into the footer. Insert Headers and Footers is a great plugin to use here, as it allows you to edit the header and footer templates in a simple user interface. It adds your scripts to either the WP head or the WP footer action hooks. All you have to do is install the plugin. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll head on over to plugins and add new, and then go over to the search field and search for the plugin. And we'll click install now. And then activate. And then once it is activated, we'll go on over to settings and insert headers and footers. You can then insert any kind of script into the two input fields. Be sure to enclose your scripts with a script tag. And that script tag looks like the following. You can also use this plugin to add custom CSS to your header template. You only need to enclose it with the style tag. CSS should always be added to the header. So we can see you can add your header content here scripts and body, and then scripts and footer. And make sure to click the save button once you have made your desired changes. Another option is to use a plugin that allows you to add custom JavaScript to your WordPress site. These plugins are similar to the header and footer editing plugins. However, they usually provide you with more configuration options. A great option to use here is the simple custom CSS and JS plugin. This plugin lets you to find the permalink for your custom JavaScript files save them into the WP content folder, manage your scripts as a custom post type, and much more. If you want to add multiple custom JS files to your WordPress site and keep them organized, you will find this type of plugin very helpful. So again, we'll go to plugins, click add new, and then type in the plugin. And we'll click install now. 
and then activate. So as you can see on the left hand sidebar, we now have our plugin and we can click the add custom JS. So now we're ready to add our custom JavaScript code into the body here. And we have all the different options for this code on the right. And make sure to click the publish button once you have finished with editing the JS code. And next are script specific plugins. If you only want to add one third party script to your site, you can also check if it has an integration plugin for WordPress. Creators of third party JavaScript libraries frequently publish a free plugin in the wordpress.org repo so that you can easily add their tool to your site. The biggest advantage of this kind of plugin is that it will usually come with built-in configuration options for that specific JavaScript library. So now let's go over option number two and it's to edit your child themes functions.php file. Besides using plugins, you can also use WP's built-in function and action hooks to add custom JS to your site. In this case, you need to edit your functions.php file and upload the scripts manually to your server. It is advisable to create a child theme for your customizations so you can securely update the parent theme without losing the custom code. You can upload your custom scripts to your child theme's root folder, or if you have more than one script, you can create a scripts folder for them. You need to add the PHP code that enqueues or prints out your custom JavaScript to your child theme's functions PHP file. You can either edit this file in your code editor and upload the update version manually to your server, or edit via the appearance theme editor. So here we are on the theme editor. Then we can go ahead and find the functions.php file. And this is the file that we can edit. This next step applies to you if you're going to be adding custom scripts to your site. The WordPress theme handbook recommends the WP and Q script function to add custom scripts to your site. This function respects WP's loading sequence and enqueues your custom scripts in the proper order so they won't conflict with other scripts loaded by the WP core and plugins running on your site. With scripts, you can add your custom JavaScript both to the header and footer templates. By default, it enqueues the scripts in the head section of the page loaded by the header template. Here is what this custom function would look like. If you want to add your script to the header, you only need to define a custom handle. As you can see below, I've also used the git stylesheet directory URI function to get the URI of the child theme directory. Add the add action function, and the add action function adds the custom tuts plus and queue custom JavaScript function to the WP and Q scripts action hook, which lets you enqueue custom scripts you want to display on the front end of your site. Beware that although the WP and Q script, a built in WordPress function, and the WP and Q scripts action hook have almost the same name, they are different things. Besides enqueuing scripts for the header, you can also use the WP and Q script function to add custom JavaScript to the footer template. However, in this case, you also need to define all the optional parameters respectively. The first parameter is the dependencies array, as we have no dependencies for now. Number two, the version of the script false, as we don't want to add version numbers. Number three, whether this is for the header or footer template, you'll want to be true as we switch to the footer template which is the non-default option. If your custom script has dependencies, you need to add them to the array parameter of the WP and Q script function. There are a couple of popular scripts and libraries, such as jQuery, that are already registered by the WordPress core, so you can add them using their registered handle, jQuery. If you have a dependency that is not registered by WordPress, you need to register and enqueue it with another WP and Q script function before you can add it as a dependency using its custom handle. If you want to run your script in the admin area instead of the front end of your site, you need to use the admin and queue scripts action hook instead of WP and Q scripts in the add action function. And for the login screen, you need to use the login and queue scripts action hook, which enqueues custom scripts only for the login page. Although the WordPress documentation recommends using the WP and Q script function for custom scripts, you can also add inline scripts to your site with the WP head and WP footer action hooks. Instead of enqueuing your custom scripts, these hooks only print them out in either the header or footer template. So you should only use this technique to add inline scripts, but not for external JavaScript files. This is how you can use the WP head action hook to print out an inline script in the header template. And this is how you can use the WP footer action hook to print out an inline script in the footer template. As WP head and WP footer 
only fire on the front end of your site. Scripts added with these hooks won't load in the admin area and login page. To add custom inline scripts to your admin area, you should instead use the admin head and admin footer action hooks in the add action function. And if you want to print out scripts on the login page, use the login head and login footer action hooks. So that's going to do it for this tutorial, everyone. In this video, we went over how you can add custom JavaScript to your WordPress site, either by using a plugin or by editing your theme or child themes functions.php file. Using a plugin is a recommended technique if you don't want to edit your source file, as these plugins ensure that your custom scripts load in the right order. And queuing your scripts in the functions.php file manually allows you to tie your custom scripts to your theme and keep everything in order without having to add another plugin to your WordPress site. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you like this little tutorial and would like to see more, be sure to subscribe to the Envato Tuts Plus YouTube channel. If you are looking to learn even more, why not check out some of the other excellent tutorials that Envato Tuts Plus has to offer. I'm Daniel, and I'll see you next time.